Hey everyone, welcome back to Mill Busy Eats. My name is Melissa, in case you are new. Today is going to be the start of a weekly dinners video. I haven't filmed one of these in super long, or in a super long time. And today is Sunday, and for dinner tonight, I am making this yakisoba stir fry with rotisserie chicken. I bought it at Costco, so it comes with everything that you need. You have the veggies, shredded rotisserie chicken, sauce, and the yakisoba noodles. There are instructions on here. It just says to heat up some oil, add the veggies, cook for two minutes, add the chicken, cook for two minutes, add the noodles and the sauce, and cook for one minute until the internal temperature reaches 165. So that is what we're gonna do. So I'm using my wok. I have some oil in here and the vegetables. We're gonna cook that for a couple of minutes. I just added in the rotisserie chicken and I'm gonna cook this for two minutes. So I just added in the noodles and the sauce and then I'm just gonna give it a toss and then it says to heat it for one minute. We'll just heat it until everything is warmed up. Here's what it looks like, you guys. Super easy, you just basically warm everything up. So we're gonna eat dinner. I'll let you guys know if this is good. This is our first time trying this. So today is Monday, and for dinner tonight we are having crunch wraps, just like Taco Bell, crunch wrap supreme actually. So I have everything ready. We have some shredded lettuce, diced up tomatoes, we have our tostadas, sour cream, shredded cheese, we have our big um, flour tortillas, and then we also have ground beef. I already cooked this with um, taco seasoning and then some nacho cheese. So we have ground beef and then next is nacho cheese. And then the tostada. Okay, sour cream. Lettuce, tomato, and then shredded cheese. Now we now we fold it up. Just like that. Now we're gonna take this, place it in the frying pan with the folded side down, and just let it toast up. So once it's nice and toasted, you just wanna flip it over and then toast the other side, and that's what it looks like. So yummy, crunch wrap supreme, and that is dinner for Monday night. Today is Tuesday and we're having wings for dinner, so I just have my chicken wings here that I seasoned with salt and pepper, and I'm gonna cook this in the air fryer. I already preheated the air fryer, so I'm just gonna put the chicken in there and then I actually have a chicken setting, but it basically cooks at 380 degrees for 25 minutes and then I just flip it halfway through. Here are the wings right out of the air fryer. They're just plain, I'm not gonna add any sauce to them uh, this time, but you could just, from here you can add like buffalo sauce, lemon pepper, whatever you like. So yeah, that's dinner for Tuesday night. Today is Wednesday and for dinner tonight I am making pork belly adobo. So I have my pork belly in here. I already cut them up into probably like two inch pieces, maybe two to three inch pieces. And I have it marinating in some soy sauce, vinegar, and some whole black peppercorns. And um, I'm gonna start by frying the pork belly a little bit and then I'll add the marinade back in with some water. I do actually have like a separate recipe video for my adobo which I will leave linked in the description box. The only difference is the video is with chicken but you cook it the exact same way. I have all of the pork belly in here. I'm just gonna brown it up a little bit and then I'm gonna add all of this marinade back in along with two cups of water. If you guys want the measurements, it'll be in the other video, in the recipe video. And then I also boiled some eggs, so I'm gonna add the hard boiled eggs into the adobo. It's already been peeled and everything, so I'm just gonna add this in there and then just mix it around. All right, so here's the pork belly adobo. I just added the eggs into the bowl like that, and you can have it with rice, and it's really good. And that's dinner for Wednesday night. 
So today is Thursday and for dinner tonight I'm making baked ranch chicken thighs. So I have my chicken thighs in my foil pan. I sprayed the pan with some oil. I put the chicken in there. I'm gonna season the chicken with just some black pepper. And then I have some olive oil, minced garlic, and my ranch seasoning packet. So I'm gonna take this seasoning and I'm gonna mix it in this bowl with two tablespoons of olive oil and then just a little bit of this minced garlic. And then I'm gonna spread it all over the chicken. And once, so I'll do that and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So actually I did season the chicken with a little bit of salt on both sides and pepper. And then here's what the mixture looks like. I added a little bit extra olive oil because I didn't want it too thick. I didn't really measure honestly. I just wanted it to look like this. And then now I'm going to spread this onto the chicken. Make sure you put the skin side up. So I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes, but you just wanna cook it until the chicken is done. To go with the chicken, I'm gonna make this instant um, mashed potatoes. This is the roasted garlic mashed potatoes. It's just gonna be for the kids, I'm not gonna have any. And then I'm gonna steam up some broccoli. All right, so here is the chicken right out of the oven. I left it in for 45 minutes. You want it to be nice and golden like that. And then I made the mashed potatoes and then I steamed up some broccoli. So that is it. That is dinner for Thursday night. So today is Saturday and for dinner tonight we're having spaghetti. Well actually, we're not using spaghetti noodles. I'm gonna use these noodles, these little bow ties. Um, and then we have the Prego roasted garlic parmesan sauce and it's gonna be meatless We don't have any ground beef, so just no meat today um, And I have this bell pepper that I want to use up So I'm gonna probably cut like half of this and add it into the sauce and then for my dinner I'm gonna have some meatballs um, I just like to warm up my meatballs in a in some tomato sauce and then season it add some cheese on top and then that'll be my dinner. Um, so I will show you guys what everything looks like once everything is done. So I just put the noodles in the water. And then I'm sauteing the bell pepper in a little bit of olive oil. I just wanna soften them up a little bit and then I'll add the sauce and just let it simmer. So here's the pasta. I actually cooked the whole bag of noodles, but I only put half of it in here and then I'm going to save the other half for tomorrow. I can probably make buttered noodles for the kids for lunch. And then here are my meatballs. I ran out of mozzarella cheese, so I'm just going to top this with some Mexican style cheese and um, some Parmesan cheese and then crushed red pepper flakes. So that's dinner for Saturday night.